Now, I have undeniable concrete proof that the female rapper Ice Spice is an industry plant. Now, these artists are going to continue to go on record and deny that they're industry plants. Why? Because then the jig is up. Then they will feel like they've been duped. They've been played. People do not want to feel like they've been played. They don't want you to insult their intelligence. So they have to use these tactics. They have to lie to you because if they admit it and tell the truth, they're no longer going to support that artist. And some people find that hard to believe because they worship the ground these rappers walk on. They're so in love with these rappers. They're gods to them. So here's glaring proof. I mean, it's the most obvious thing in the world. Ice Spice signed a deal with 10K Projects. Now, if we click on 10K Projects, it says that 10K Projects is an independent record label founded in 2016. It says distribution is handled by Virgin Music Label and Artist Services, a division of Universal Music Group. So as we look at the founder of 10K Projects, it's Elliot Grange, right? Now, when we hear the name Elliot Grange, we've heard the name Grange referenced in music a lot, right? Now, one artist in particular that we hear referenced the name Grange in his music a lot is none other than Drake. One song in particular we could point to is Drake's song that he did with the Migos, Having Our Way, right? Once I finish looking into this, then we're going to connect the dots. So then you could all see that it just all makes sense. But if you type in Drake, I went on Genius, by the way, and we go to Drake verse, right? Now we just said Ice Spice is signed to 10K Projects, which the founder is Elliot Grange. He said, too busy backing my words up with actions to ever go front in their face. Then change. Big and they talk to me different when they see my pistol from Lucian Grange. Now we hear many artists reference Lucian Grange a lot of so it says Lucian Grange is the chairman and CEO of Universal music group. Drake name dropped him on Rick Ross, April 2012 song, Stay Scheming. Tell Lucy, I said, F it. I'm tearing holes in my budget. When asked about the line at the Universal Grammy after party in January 2020, Lucian Gray says, if ever Drake or whenever Drake calls up and says he need more money for his projects, I give it to him because he's the greatest. In other words, Lucian Grains cut Drake's checks. So as we look into the background of who is Lucian Grains, it says that in 1993, Grains' first wife, Samantha Burke, experienced complications while giving birth to their son, Elliot. Elliot Grains is the son of Lucian Grains, who is the executive officer of Universal Music Group. I invested my own money and lost money. I, I, I made t-shirts that made money. I made music that made money. But at the end of the day, Lucy and Grange still cut my music checks. As powerful as my voice is, Lucian still runs 50% of the music industry. Lucian still runs 50% of the music industry. Lucian still runs 50% of the music industry. So now you see the connection and why Drake endorsed Ice Spice. Now you see why she just came out of nowhere and just blew up. It was because she had backing from a major label. When you see Drake shared her music online, it made people who were unaware of who Ice Spice was. Who is this girl? So then people went to go check for Ice Spice. It made sense. You're not going to see an artist just come out here and just go viral overnight like that. All of your favorite artists that you love have been industry plants. Any of them that you could think of throughout history have been plants all along. And a lot of people don't want to accept that, but that's just the reality of it. Even DJ Academics and a live stream that he did where I spoke on it first, where I say that 
these artists, these female artists or just artists in general, they have a team of writers and they shop these songs around to all these different females or they already have these songs picked out. They already have the next female in place that's going to be the next star. But these moments are staged. That's why Drake unfollowed her on Twitter. Because now you already know who she is. She's already gained traction and people know who she is because of Drake. But by Drake unfollowing her, there's this mystery and understanding why Drake has still created headlines. So whether their names are attached to each other or not, it's still going to draw a lot of headlines. It's going to create a lot of retweets, a lot of hashtags. It's going to trend on Twitter. People are going to talk about it. And by people talking about it, it increases her notoriety and popularity. And she started to garner more attention and gain more followers. They used Drake. This is why Drake, he was connected to Lucian Grain. So it's all, it all makes sense now. But she's a plant. All these labels, these major labels, these conglomerates, Universal, all these distribution companies, they're all tied together. And they're all working hand in hand. It says that according to Wikipedia, that Ice Spice, she started to get into rapping around March 2021. So in order to push an artist, even a local artist, right? If you get buzzed locally, it takes a lot of groundwork in order to start to build a buzz within your city. And that doesn't happen overnight. There's a rapper by the name Saudi Baby. And they asked him, what's his definition of a industry plant? And I'm just paraphrasing. He said it's just somebody who comes out of nowhere and didn't grind like he grind. And they just become this big sensation overnight. Even with the internet, it's the same thing. You can have an artist who can have a fire song. I know people personally, they get a lot of views. You don't see them, you know, become stars overnight because there's no big label behind them pushing them. She was more than likely secretly signed 10K projects the entire time. And they were developing her early on. 